What's up, y'all? EWD33 here. Uh, I want to make a follow-up video to the one I did with yesterday. I mean, I was pissed off yesterday, so I didn't make much of a video as into uh, the game. Um, first of all, I want to give a big shout-out to uh, Uptown. I just saw your video of the review, man. And I got to say, that was a very, very classy move on your part. I got mad respect for you for doing that, man. Hey Week was good, and it's a good rivalry. And, I mean, man, you spoke the truth, you know what I'm saying? You spoke the truth. You didn't come out here, you know, well, when you were fully entitled to just talking all kinds of shit, and you made a very respectable video that I think that not only your fans like, but we, as me being part of Dirty Bird Nation, enjoyed and very classy of you and um i just gotta give you props man big props for that um but as into the game obviously we lost a heartbreaker in overtime and i wanted to just say a few things i mean um my player of the game players of the games for both sides are well I'll start with the Saints because they won. Um, Marcus Colston, fucking shit. <laughs> Every time that guy got the ball thrown to him, god damn, he came down with it, made amazing fucking catches. Just amazing catches. He's a great player, and you guys, very, you guys should be happy to have him. And, of course, I mean, Drew Brees got his, and that was, you know, everyone knew that was going to happen. And then... Um, I mean, shit, Jimmy Graham also, not, he, you know, he also did, what was the second quarter, he had a, you know, balling quarter, um, damn, uh, Roman Harper, he, uh, he played a great game, he almost picked the ball off a couple times, and, um, I mean, he wasn't able to come up with him, still kept us alive, but he almost sealed the deal a couple times for us, um, for our team, um, I want to uh, give it out to, uh, well, first of all, Matt Ryan. I think under the circumstances, he played a great game. He career high in passing yards. And as some of you may know, 359 yards. Um, we are a run-first team. So for our quarterback, I mean, Matt Ryan is a good quarterback. But, um, I mean, I know Drew Brees has had like 400-yard games before. But uh, for Matt Ryan to have a 300-yard game, he was on point. Uh, that interception he had, uh, it wasn't his fault. Roddy White should have caught the ball, but he didn't. And then since I've been saying, well, I've been saying since 2008, but I've been saying all this year, all this year, Harry Douglas is a great receiver, and finally he got his chance yesterday and he had 133 yards career high career game for him a lot of people are now starting to notice him which is making me happy because I've always talked about how much I like Harry Douglas as a player he's real quiet I think he needs to get more looks and with Julio out he definitely stepped up and kept us in that game him and Matt Ryan um you know um my, uh, well, taking this from ESPN, my come on, come on, man, um, player was Roddy White. I'm sorry. I mean, he dropped some crucial passes. I mean, uh, he's just not having a good season this year. I mean, he's decent at, at most, and, I mean, we need someone, you know, better. Thank God, you know, Julio and Harry are stepping up, you know, and Tony, Tony Gonzalez is stepping up and making plays also because if we re relied on Roddy White, we'd be a lot worse than we are now. Um, as, as goes for Julio Jones, he was actually injured most of the game. I think Julio, um, he still has a way to go to be a lights-out receiver. I mean, he does show flashes of brilliance. And also, he's got to stay healthy because apparently – Health is a big concern for him this season. Missed two big games. 
He would have missed three, but we had a bye week, and then he missed the game against the Saints pretty much. So, you know, that's that's just not good. Um, as for the call, as everyone is mentioning in their videos and all over the TV and everything, all over the Internet, um, it was a gamble. It was a gamble that I thought that, you know, I mean, I, I wanted to go for it. I was happy to see us go for it. I thought that the um, play we ran was retarded. Retarded. First of all, you, you're, you're four than inches, all right? The first thing I thought was QB sneak, just have Matt Ryan fall and get the inches because we're inches, all right? I thought that. The fact that they did a handoff to Michael Turner, well, and then Michael Turner made a terrible effort to get to the line. I mean, first of all, when you hand the ball off, you got to drop back like three yards instead of just QB sneaking and falling forward from the line of scrimmage. So right there, that was kind of dumb to to run a handoff. Second of all. Second of all, Michael Turner, when he got the ball, the pile had already pretty much formed. Okay, if you watch the play, the minute he handed the ball, the Saints defenders were all piled in, the, and he runs straight into it. Okay, straight into the pile. He didn't sidestep left or right or make an attempt to break to the outside. And he just runs straight into it, and he doesn't get he doesn't get it. I mean, so I mean, the play call was the problem, not the actual going for it, but the actual play call that we were the play that we ran was the part that killed us. Okay, that I I I just don't know why we ran that play. But anyways, um. Another thing, another big topic on YouTube is, are the Falcons done this year? No, no, we're not. I mean, we are 5-4. and four. And, I mean, honestly, quite honestly, if we want to make the playoffs, we're going to have to win six out of our seven games, I think. And here, here's one thing. The, with the wild card, the two teams of the wild card, Chicago and Detroit. And... Detroit has yet to play Green Bay, and they have to play them twice. So, with that being said, I can almost guarantee that it's going to be two more losses for the Detroit Lions, which is going to make it there. And if they win out, other than those two games, they will go twelve and four, which we don't know. Okay, because you can see, you know, the Lions are. Well, the Lions are the Lions, you know. Um, and also, I mean, I got to give it out to y'all Saints fans. They do have to play y'all still. They will have to play y'all. I'm hoping that they can beat y'all. Not No offense, because I want to win our division. But either way, depending on how the game goes, I mean, it's going to help us out. Because Detroit right now is in the spot for the wild card. And if you beat them, that's another loss. And then they got to play Green Bay twice. But if they beat you, well, I mean, that gives us a chance, you know. And then we got to play, I mean, we we because we still have one game against y'all. And, I mean, right now we have kind of, we can kind of cruise. The only game I'm kind of worried about is the Houston game. Because Houston's not a bad team by any means. And they could definitely beat us. But I don't think that we should have any problem any of the teams other than maybe the Texans and the Saints. Those are my two big ones. And if we can win at least one out of the two and then win all the rest, I think we have a definite shot to make it to the playoffs. We're not out of the playoff race by any means. Okay. That's what that's what seems to be the the thing going around, you know, the Falcons nation is that we're done. We're not done by any means. 
I mean, we've made it a little bit harder for ourselves, don't get me wrong, but we're not done because you never know what can happen. I mean, Detroit can go on a colossal slump. I mean, not to mention they got to play their division leaders and the NFC South division leaders as much as it pains me to say that. They got to play the NFC South division leaders and the New Orleans Saints. So our playoff picture is not uh, we're not we're not done, okay. Now granted we can't lose to teams, okay? We can't lose to the Titans, we can't lose to the Vikings, we can't lose to the Bucks, we can't lose to the Panthers. I mean, we have a little breathing room. If if we lose to um, Houston, we have to beat the Saints. But if we beat Houston, I mean, we can let one slide. It's, it will still go five, 11 and 5, which is, I mean, that's good enough to make the playoffs. But that's not putting yourself in a position because there's other teams out there that can go 11 and 5 and um I don't know. So it's a must win now. It's a must win for us. Each game is going to be a must win for us. But anyways, I mean, you know, it was a great game yesterday. Obviously, we didn't come out on top, which you know, still is killing me all day, you know. Oh, it was kind of like one of those things like when we had that 15 seconds left, I wish we could have just gotten them all again and just tried one more, one more play, one more play to get a touchdown and to seal the game, or one more shot at that fourth and in inches that we blew it on. I mean, I wish there was a time machine, but it's not. It fucking, it, make, it still makes me sick to think about that game, although it was a great game. And props to you Saints fans, especially you Uptown. Once again, you made a classy, classy video in that review you just made. I got mad props. I did enjoy that video a whole lot. Um, but, shit, I mean, we got, uh, we're going to have an interesting next seven games. That's all I got to say. And, I mean, we can only maybe afford to lose one. Other than that, I mean, if we lose two, I'm pretty sure it's it's most likely over. Well, it, it never mind. I can't say that in certainty because, I mean, there's still other teams playing. And one of the teams in the wild card is the Detroit Lions, who we beat. And obviously, they have to beat the Saints and the Green Bay Packers twice. So, I mean, we're not out of it by any means, but... Anyways, we got a game next Sunday against Tennessee. I think we can win that one. I mean, they have the same record but as us, but, I mean, they're not that great of a team, okay? They're not. I mean, they have flashes of brilliance, and they beat the hell out of uh, Carolina, but uh, we beat them too, so whatever. I'll make my video on the Titans a little later. I actually don't really know much about the Titans. Um because obviously we don't play them much. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah. We're not out of it. Heartbreaking loss. I'm still sick to my stomach about it. But, I mean, what can you do? You just got to get it together and go out there and play some more football. Once again, go and go Falcons. Bleed red and black all day, every day. Um, this has been EWD33.